Hello friends and welcome to another Popper League. We are concluding our special today with Hot Dogs. This is a Popper deck that has been making waves since uh, Festival Crasher came into the format and now we've got a new toy to play with, Monastery Swift Spear. I was saying before when I was playing this deck that we have a ton of great two drop creatures but I, what I really wanted was a solid one-drop creature so we could start the pressure early, and we've got it. Swift Spear slots into this deck just perfectly. So, uh, yeah, we're going to take this through a league. Um, one thing I did change since the last time I played this deck is I brought in a third Underworld Rage Hound into the sideboard. Um, I think that a lot of people are going to be ready for Hut Dogs. I think there's going to be a lot of... Uh, Targeted removal, either through the burn decks, just, you know, like having access to Lightning Bolt, your Kiln Fiend, or, you know, people being ready for this deck. So, um, yeah, I wanted to have extra creatures ready to go so that uh, we could keep the board um, full of uh, threats. All right, let's get into it. Creature Heavy Hand. Holy shit. Okay. Um, uh, our opponent does not want to play against Hot Dogs. They literally just quit the match. Oh, Ancestral Anger? Yeah, that, that is uh, a legal card. You can play that. I had to cut something, though. Yeah, that's a common. That is a card that is usually played in this deck, but like I said, I had to cut something. Unearth, so we're playing against Mogwarts again. Kiln Fiends should be pretty good versus Mogwarts. Problem is, um, they could actually kill us next turn. So what I'm really looking for off the top here is a uh, Battle Rage. Might even go for Faithless Looting to try and find it. Metamorphose, perfect draw. Festival Crasher. All right, let's go for Faithless Looting. Damn it. All right, we're going to need to do some counting. This might be lethal anyway. Uh, so that's 10. Oh, yeah, this is lethal. It's got to be. Turn three, 20 damage, no battle rage. Uh, 
Oh, okay, you didn't know this deck existed before Swift Spear, haven't played Pauper since the Banning of Days. This is a rather recent deck. Um, it used to be played as an Is It deck. It was called Eye Candy or Is It Blitz. But uh, with the release of Festival Crasher, people have taken blue out of the deck. It is way more consistent, way, way faster. Turn two, Kiln Fiend. Turn three, win. That's how we do it. So what were we playing against again? No Kappa? Um, um, I forget. Uh, Affinity. Okay. Playing against Affinity, I don't think we change anything. I think we just go into it again. Why Eye Candy? Because of... Oh, it was Mogwarts. Thank you, thank you. Mogwarts, we do actually want to change things then. We want to bring in Electricery versus Mogwarts. Um, so it's called Eye Candy because of the card niv Cyclops. Lava Dart's really good in this matchup. I think we'd probably just take out a couple creatures because I don't think they're going to have a lot of removal. So we'll just take out the two Burning Prophets for the two Electricaries. We could bring in Lightning Bolt as well. I don't think we need it. One mana on the draw with a Kiln Fiend. If we get the land, this hand is just like turn three kill. But we need a land in the top two cards, and we have no way to draw. I'm, I'm gambling. We're going to keep it. No land. On, give it to me. Give me a land. Yeah. Always had it. Damn. They had the abrade. Alright, crash through as a cantrip. Crash through as a cantrip. Now I'm wishing I had those extra creatures, huh? Oh yeah, we're killing that. We got this extra mana sitting here. We got a Lava Dart in hand. Combo piece is dead. Now you can't combo next turn. Oh, maybe can they with a, an unearth? No, I don't think they can. I mean, we even have Lava Dart anyway, so. Uh, do we Manamorphose and look? I think we do. Try and find a critter. That's a critter. Maybe I should have gone for the second Manamorphose. Try and find a Kiln Fiend. But we can do quite a bit of damage next turn. With uh, Manamorphos, Lava Dart, Battle Rage. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we could deal 12, but that would cost us uh, a pair of mountains. Oh, mutagenic growth? Okay. That changes everything. I think this is lethal now. If not, it's huge damage. Get a mountain. Not what I was looking for. No more draws. Oh. Opponent says miss, miss click. Alright, so two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighteen, plus the damages from Lava Dart. This should be lethal. Shit. You're right. That was just a huge punt. That was maybe the biggest punt I've made. Fuck. What was I thinking? God damn it. I had the game. This is why I don't play three leagues in a row. Alright, no more excuses. Fuck. One misclick deserves another, I guess. So frustrating that we had this game. No, it's definitely worth kicking myself on. It was just pure stupid. They, they lose everything here. This is fine. Watch. It's fine. TBR resolves. Now pro red. See? It's fine. It's fine. Unpunt that donut. Oh, sorry. That was from before? No, this is this is this is good. One land hand, we have Swift Spear, we have Faithless Looting, we're on the draw. I am absolutely keeping this. We even have the mutagenic growth to save the Swift Spear. Oh, that's a really classic war strategy. Many, many people have used that through the years. The False Retreat. Actually, wasn't that a big part of the recent war movie, 1917? Ooh, Basic Island. So that means Hydroblasts. <laughs> Cooper, the drunken master of Moto. I accept this. Absolutely agree with that, Mercy. Um, when I started playing regularly on Moto, uh, it taught me so much about how the stack works. Definitely think that was a big part of... Uh, what got me to improve in the game? Here comes a snap. Oh, spell stutter sprite? Okay. No gut shots. Uh, do I play much paper magic? Not anymore. I used to play a lot of paper magic, but... Uh, 
between work and the stream. Uh, I don't play any anymore. It was a choice I had to make uh, just based on the time that I work at. Um, I can do one thing or the other, and I would rather play Magic Online with all of you. He's a computer nerd now? Yeah, it's true. Oh, that's really strong. I think we're losing this game. And that's going to make it really hard to win the match because they get to bring in Hydro Blasts. We miss on land again. Uh, I don't think there's any way through this. They just get to counter whatever we do. It's not even good to attack anymore. Now oh, that was the gamble. Oh, snapped. All right, let's just move on to the next one. This is definitely an early concession, but we are going to be playing a long game into a loss, so let's just move on. Don't want any mutagenic growth in this matchup. Teamer Battle Rage is a little bit of a liability as well. Is this a match where we want Lightning Bolt to kill their ninjas? It might be. No creatures. One land hand. So that's pretty much the reason why I'm running Crash through over Ancestral Anger, so that I can use it as a cantrip, and, you know, if they remove the target, then it's fine. Because there's no target for Crash through, so I can get that cantrip value. So many Festival Crashers. All right, any ninjas? No ninjas, holding up spell stutter. Oh, no spell stutter. Land? Oh, I was really hoping for land so we could go crash or hold up pyroblast. Oh, no Hydro. Oh, okay. They just use it as a destroy spell instead of a counter spell. Sure. Any ninjas? Ninja of the Deep Hours.
Okay, no land. Ooh, we draw Kiln Fiend? I would love to play Kiln Fiend here, but I want to kill this. We're both just stuck here at two basics. It's kind of funny. Almost want to pyro this so they can't attack and make another ninja. Oh, they got the land too. Yeah, that's uh, that could have been a lot better. Yeah, we're going to start with the looting here. Going to throw away Festival Crasher and another card. Either that, yeah, like Dispel is a pretty solid choice here. They could also have had um, another Blue Elemental Blast and just deciding if they wanted to use it on the Faithless Looting or not, or save it as a kill for Festival Crasher. Probably more effective as a kill spell. That is the Dispel. Okay. They are tapped out, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, nor near enough for lethal. All right, so really comes down to uh, the contents of their hand here. And I really wanted to draw a spell.
Really? Oh, that is awful. Just have a million snaps. of one mind times two draw all the cards and we get a swiss beer What a game. That snap, though. Snap is so good versus our deck. Ninja just giving them so many cards. I got another ninja here. They're back up to seven cards in hand. Got two blockers with counter magic available. This is a lethal attack. They do have to do something. If I had anything, maybe we would have won there. Uh, you're absolutely right, Donut. I've just been trying to aggress. I cannot believe we won that. That's absolutely ridiculous. Ludicrous, even. Cool. We take those. Yeah, yeah, the uh, the blocks didn't make sense there. They could have uh, just had lethal. And that is a problem that uh, mono blue can have sometimes. They could just have a bunch of like counter magic. And uh, if you've already got the stuff on the board, it can be difficult for them to deal with. Uh, Monastery Swiss Spear is broken. Just an absolutely bonkers card.
play Crasher first, next turn, try first, Swift Spear, uh, Bolt, I think. I want to try and hold up this Pyroblast as much as possible. Oh, they're probably going to Ninja here. Uh, Moon Circuit Hacker. The one mana Ninja. Leaves them two mana up for Counter Magic. Okay, so they're replaying the Miscreant. They only have one mana up now. Just deciding if I want to bolt this. Yeah, let's get rid of it. Get that damage in. Don't have Pyroblast anymore, so don't feel like I need to hold up the mana. Don't have the mana available to potentially play Kiln Fiend this turn anymore. So yeah, let's just get in for the damage. Okay. Um, I don't know. I kind of feel like I would have only gotten rid of... I think it would be better to just get rid of the ninja if I was going to do that and leave the uh, the curfew up. Then their curfew gets rid of their own creature for me. Uh, <laughs> it was never a good deck. I'm sorry. Um, But th if you want to play it, go for it. It's still super cool. But it is a bit of a meme. I mean, I love it. And I'll be honest, like I have a new build for Mono Black uh, with the new cards. I still play it. I like it. It's just um, don't, you know, expect it to be uh, a tier one deck. If this resolves, we're laughing. Even if it doesn't, we still get all the boosts on our creatures. Oh, they snap the Kiln Fiend in response. Snap is such a pain in our side here. Do they also have the Spell Stutter Sprite? Yeah, that's a pretty good play from the opponent. It does mean we get to uh, resolve our Kiln Fiend, though. An attack with some powerful critters. But again, this is like a great example of why Crash Through is better than uh, Ancestral Anger. If we had used Ancestral Anger here, they would have snapped the target and we would not have been able to draw the card. Um, they would not have had to use the Spell Stutter Sprite and then they could have saved the Spell Stutter Sprite for whatever they snapped um, when it comes back down. Of one mind, very strong card, one mana draw two. I 
Now, if you want to stick around for a little bit, friend, I will show you the new version of the deck that I've been working on. They're going to have more good stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, Angers is a great card. It's just I think that uh, Crash Through is just a little bit better. Yeah, I'm regretting this attack. Oh, I get to save my Swift Spear. They get to save their Spell Stutter Sprite. Interesting choice. I think I like killing my creatures, but I can understand wanting Spell Stutter back. Yeah, no kidding. That actually made my attack way better. Let's crash in. Uh, 14 creatures, uh, I think. Yeah, only 14. You think, looking back at your games, you would cut some for better spell consistency? Maybe. It does seem like we have a lot of creatures. Yeah, they do get to Spell Stutter, but that's not a blocker. And they do have the Blue Elemental Blast to get rid of the Crasher. Unfortunate. But we are going to kill their Ninja and hit them for two. Still good. Okay, so they replace this with a ninja. So they have spell stutter sprite up. Don't play a land, don't play a land. Yeah. That is kind of a good point. Spell stutter didn't really do anything, did it? So they have to spell stutter this and block a swift spear, go to one. Oh, wow, that's uh, way better than what I thought was going to happen. Okay. Snaps. Snap is a really, really good card against us. All right, go to two. Oh, they found land. Double Spire Golem as blockers. Need to find a Lightning Bolt on top. Or a... Uh, yeah, that's not going to do it. Just going to have to pass. Yeah, those Spire Golems. Uh, no looting in the graveyard.
Festival Crasher resolves. Now we have a blocker for Ninja, maybe. We could just get some spells. Oh my god, another ninja. 18 lands. Oh, land. Spire going for one. Hold up two mana. Three blockers. We draw another mountain! Hey, clans. Ah, that was you. We were talking about that before. That's right. And I was saying, no way that's ever going to happen. And here we are. Seems like a good draw. Uh, do we know if they have spell starter sprite in hand? I mean, they got to have some kind of counter magic, right? If we had gotten this last turn, we would win. Now they have tons of mana in order to counter our shit. So they go block, block, block. We go dart. Then they spell stutter the dart and we lose. GG. There's no way to come through this. We could Lava Dart, Aspire Golem, take this off the board, this off the board, then they still have Ninja Spire Golem to kill us. GG's. Whew, really, really fun game there. Really fun match. Uh, a little bit frustrating that we got flooded out at the end there. But uh, that was some fun magic. I mean, we got Faithless looting to get rid of some of the extra mountains. Let's keep this. Oh, okay, so we're playing against Boros. I think that uh, Boros is actually one of the best decks right now because it's going to have a good matchup versus Burn and Hot Dogs. It's going to have a ton of removal for our creatures. Just going to be a really, really difficult matchup. I would say this is probably the deck that I uh, did not want to come up against out of all the decks in Magic. Did not want to touch this. I'm going to play the Crasher now so we can play the Kiln Fiend next turn with Apostle's Blessing to protect it.
Dash from red. No journey to nowhere. And they're holding back blockers. Let's see if we can find a team or battle rage here. Okay. Just looking for that team about a rage. Is it going to show up? Let's go, teamer. No, no team about a rage. Do find Swift Spear, though. No trample, unfortunate. Opponent is surprised that Swift Spear is already legal. Kind of figured that uh, move, going into a, uh, a league with this deck, I kind of figured like they were um, targeting Swift Spear. Are there any rat colony popper decks? I've never seen any. Oh, that sucks. So many lands. All right, so that's four, five, six, uh, seven, ten, twelve. If I muta, seems like a pretty good time to go in for muta. Do they have? They don't have strands. All right, let's just go for mutagenic growth. Get that big damage in while we have the opportunity. Ooh, Battle Screech. Now they get to Screech again and Screech again. And they have Rally the Peasants in the Graveyard. We're dead. They kill us next turn. We need to... We needed to find Trample before now. Apostle's Blessing. Give this Pro White. Um, Hit them for four... Yeah, there's going to be some uh, Boros Heroic coming out in a little bit because uh, there is a new hero that uh, is available. So you could play like Swift Spear, Kiln Fiend, Hero, but, you know, is the uh, Awkward Mana worth it when you could just play Hot Dogs?
yeah, we're, we're just dead. All their creatures have flying. We can't block anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, eighteen damage. That's what we get for going all the way to turn seven. We need to finish this game way earlier. But like I was saying, this is one of the hardest matchups that we can come up against. Uh, this is why we have Flaring Pain in the sideboard. Bring in Electricery as well. Oh my god, Chain Whirler would be nuts. I already have a great goblins deck. Putting Chain Whirler into that would just be so good. Should have counted the lands for that game. I felt like we found a lot of lands. Oh yeah, this hand is amazing. Turn one Swift Spear, turn two Kiln Fiend. If they don't kill the Kiln Fiend, we probably kill them. Staticaster. I mean, that would get people playing it again. I think I have a couple of foil Staticasters sitting around somewhere. I was playing Is It at that time. All right, this is our best start. Unfortunately, we don't have any protection for the Kiln Fiend, so if they have anything, they can get rid of it. Yeah, Journey to Nowhere, they got it. Oh, we got a replacement. Very nice. Now it looks like we might have protection up. Nobody tell the opponent that we don't have anything. Uh, is Electrolyze legal here? No. We do have Electricery, though. Oh. Oh. That's a neat one. I think I'm going to kill it. I don't want the this thing to become a 3-2 a here. We're just going to lava dart it out of the way. Get rid of the blocker. They're tapped out here. We have a lava dart to get rid of this blocker as well. Ah, oh, prismatic strands into the graveyard. Oh, that's so crazy. I think we have to get rid of the veteran now. We can't let them untap. Or sorry, we can't move to our turn here. Gotta get rid of this. Obviously, I did not want to do this this turn. But with Prismatic Strands out, um, we were going to lose our entire turn. So this is better. Get them to tap their creature and we can still move in and do some stuff if we draw... Any good cards. Need those spells off the top here. Alright, are they going to prevent the damage? Save their creature? Or are they going to let it go? I think you probably let it go. 
because either way, you're not going to have protection this turn, so maybe leave the Prismatic Strands available for a later time. Yeah, Seeker, I know what you mean. The thing is, like, um, Faithless Looting has flashbacks. You can cast it twice. Uh, it has synergy with Lava Dart. And um, a lot of people were playing Anger as well, so it has synergy with Anger. All right. Let's see what we draw. Another Kiln Fiend, not what I was looking for. And we have a lot of lands to discard, that's true too. Red, red, got another mountain. Ugh. Yeah, mercy. Um, losing the anger is a collateral hit. Yep. Yeah. Is Swift is Swift Spear banned yet? Not quite. We're doing our best here to try and get the card banned, but uh, we haven't. We're not getting a trophy today, so I guess we're not getting a Swift Spear banned today. And they, oh my god! They have Prismatic Strands here. I attack, I lose a Kiln Fiend, they take no damage. Ah, that's a pretty good card. Faithless Looting, very good in their deck. They bin a Sacred Cat, which they can replay. But, oh, of course they're not going to replay it because they have Prismatic Strands. Wow. Is that the best draw on the deck? I think Metamorphose into Flaring Pain probably would have been, I mean, obviously would have been better, but can't ask for more than this. Yeah, they don't even cast it. They don't have to. Because the cards they lose, they just get to recast them. Really need, really need Faithless Looting here. Apostle's Blessing. So we could give this pro-white attack. It's four, seven, ten. Yeah, the damage still can't be prevented, but at that point, why would they even bother casting strands, right?
Okay, protection from white. They take three, their creatures die. Wait, what? Oh yeah, flaring pain, yep. Damage can't be prevented. I'm an idiot, I just lo lo lost my card. Idiot. This matchup is so difficult. I think I'm done with this game. One mana hand on the play. We have Faithless Looting with Kiln Fiend. We don't have anything really good to ditch, though. kind of feel like I want to mulligan this one. Okay. Keep this. Get rid of... Muta. Everyone here came prepared for Swift Spear? Yeah. Everyone heard that uh, Swift Spear is good. But yeah, Boros, definitely a great deck to be taking into the, uh, into the leagues right now. Okay, so it looks like they're playing Demir. Mutagenic growth is not where we want to be versus Demir. Ooh, miss with Augur. Okay, they have the snuff out. And we get the Swift Spear. I think we're just going to lava dart. Ah! Another snuff out. I mean, they did take eight, but it's looking pretty strong just to have the snuff out available to... Uh, to stop my creatures, because now, you know, I, I have no creatures, I can't do anything. No way! <laughs> oh, so much removal. Opponent was ready for hot dogs. And now they have the Monarch. Oh yeah, that, that is the reason to use that snow land, so you get access to snuff out. Uh, I think we might be dead.
Those snuff outs did a lot of damage, but if we don't have any creatures on the board, we're not gonna, you know, we're not gonna do anything here. So it's looking like Burn got just way, way better, but Hot Dogs, uh, I mean, you can still deal with Hot Dogs the same way you always could. Just have lots and lots of removal. More removal, the better. Third snuff out, this time cast for mana. Again, hits no cards with Augur. But they do get the extra card from the, uh, the Monarch. Play a Kiln Fiend. They have another removal spell. <laughs> Three snuff outs, two cast downs. Definitely feeling like I would be having a better time here playing Burn. Just because they wouldn't be able to uh, utilize their removal spells quite as well. Another cast down. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's the power of the monarch. Drawing those extra cards every turn. Alright, let's bring in Pyroblast. And Underworld Rage Hound. Uh, take out Mutagenic Growth. I think I'm going to take out some Team or Battle Rage. They have so much removal, it kind of feels like Battle Rage is a liability. Maybe we want Lightning Bolts, actually. Uh, I think it's too late. I clicked submit and yeah, okay, we're into the game. Keep this. Blue elemental blast kills the swift spear. Let's play rage hound. Another blue elemental blast kills the Rage Hound. Goes get Swamp. And we draw land. Uh, I guess we'll go for Faithless here. Find no creatures. Get rid of Battle Rage and Mountain. Crash through to draw a card. Find nothing. Crash through again. Find Pyro. We are going to be able to bring the uh, Underworld Rage Hound back now. Okay, they find Chain Chainer's Edict. Really good card. Find another Rage Hound on top. Oh, this costs four mana. Okay, we cannot escape. Just play another Rage Hound from hand, I guess. Yep, Chainer's Edict. Can't do anything about that one. Apostle's Blessing. They don't care. Gurmag Angler. That's going to be a difficult thing for me to deal with. Another Apostle's Blessing. Thanks, deck. Where... <laughs> okay, so... Usually I'm getting flooded. This time I can't find enough lands. Seems fair.
Oh, five. Do I still have a... No, I don't have any darts. Well, our first two matches looked amazing, and then we just got our keisters handed to us. Keister kicking. Yeah, we're done. Um, we don't have any way to deal with this. So, yeah, the Gurmag Angler kills us. I guess I can faith. Let's take a look. <laughs> Very good. All right, well, that was a rough league. Interesting, though. I think, what, what is it? We went 4-1, then we went 3-2, then we went 2-3. I really thought that Hot Dogs was going to be the standout deck for the special today. But it looks like Burn was uh, far and above just the absolute best. Okay, so this is the deck that uh, we were playing for for this league, uh, the Hut Dogs. And, well, um, it didn't do anywhere near as well as I thought it was going to. Um, we, we managed to uh, crush one opponent, um, but, I mean, realistically... People are ready for uh, red strategies. Um, the Boros deck is really, really good right now, so running into the Boros deck was a problem. Um, Blue Fairies has a lot of really good options against us. I mean, Snap is absolutely incredible versus Kiln Fiend, where you're able to remove the creature from combat, untap your mana, and then do something else. You know? That was really, really, really tough. So... While the deck is very good, uh, something that we were talking about last time when I was playing this deck, if you run into removal, you're going to have a bad time. So we had a bad time. But that doesn't mean that uh, this deck is not a force to be reckoned with. Um, when you see a turn 2 Kiln Fiend, you need to answer it. If you don't have the answer, you're probably dead turn 3. And that's the, uh, that's the, um, the appeal of this deck. Uh, so yeah, definitely recommend it. We'll definitely continue playing it. Uh, unfortunate that we didn't get the result we were looking for today, but 100% still recommend this deck, and I still think that it's the second best Swift Spear deck in Popper.